Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today in this video we will discuss about bioinorganic chemistry. First we will see a brief introduction about bioinorganic chemistry. Then we will move to porphyrins, metalloporphyrins and their spectral properties. Now let's get into the video. <coughs> First, bioinorganic chemistry is nothing but the study of metals in biological purposes. So, most of the metals are of biological origin. So, bioinorganic chemistry deals with storage of metal ions, transport of metalloproteins, and oxygen transport, and etc. So, these reactions involve in various elements, and they are called as the elements of life. So. There are 30 elements which are important for life process on earth and there are called as a essential element and others are called as non-essential elements. So the essential elements are further classified into four categories and they are bulk structural elements, macro elements, trace elements and ultra trace elements. Now we will discuss about each one. First one is bulk structural elements. As we know bulk means a huge quantity. Likewise, these elements constitute about 99% of mammals mass and they include carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. The second one is macro elements. Macro means being large. So the elements are present at somewhat large quantity but not much as compared to bulk elements. So these include sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium and chlorine. Next third one is trace elements. Trace means small amounts so they are present at smaller quantity that is one percentage weight of living organism and they include iron, copper and zinc. The last one is ultra trace elements and they are present at a very minute quantity and they include fluorine, iodine, selenium, silicon, arsenic, boron, manganese, molybdenum, cobalt, chromium, vanadium, nickel, cadmium, tin and lead. Then next we will discuss about Porphyrin. Generally, the porphyrin is a large ring molecule. It is uh, aromatic as it obeys the Huckel rule, 4n plus 2 rule. Porphyrin is uh, formed by connecting four pyrrole rings and they are linked together by methane bridges, that is, double bond CH bridges. This porphyrin molecule has a conjugated double bond and if we see here there are four nitrogen atoms present and two as NH group and two are present as nitrogen atoms. So generally the porphyrin molecule is called as porphyrin. So as already I have said they are formed by four pyrrole rings that is the that is the pyrrole rings are smaller rings and they are made to react with aldehyde like formaldehyde or benzaldehyde in the presence of DDQ. DDQ is nothing but 2,3 dichloro, 5,6 dicyno, 1,4 benzoquinone to yield porphyrin. Generally DDQ are used in cyclization process and it is used to aromatize the ring. Next, by the addition of an acid to porphyrin, we will get a dication and the, by the addition of a base, a dianion is formed. Next, we will discuss about some spectral properties of porphyrin ring. First one is NMR. First, uh, we will discuss about NMR spectrum for the porphyrin ring. In this, we will have three sets of protons. The three sets are non-equivalent protons. So, first, the first hydrogen is 
pyrrole ring hydrogen which is called as a beta hydrogen second one second hydrogen is bridged carbon hydrogen which is known as a meso hydrogen third one is the center nitrogen containing hydrogen so three signals were appeared here this one is beta hydrogen then this is the carbon bridged hydrogen this is called as a meso hydrogen here it is a carbon then finally the nitrogen attached hydrogen so we will get three sets of a proton so we will get three signals so eight beta hydrogen shows a peak in downfield around 8.1 ppm because the hydrogen is highly deshielded uh, then the four meso hydrogen shows a peak in 4.3 ppm and finally the nh hydrogen shows a peak in upfield upfield re, re, uh, this between minus 2 to minus 3 ppm because of it this hydrogen is highly shielded then next we will discuss about the ir spectrum of four firing complex then first the nh stretching frequency is 3300 centimeter inverse so the presence of uh, nh bond in four firing shows the peak in 300 3300 cm inverse then we will see about the uv spectrum of uh, four firing complex the highly conjugated four firing ligand exhibits a strong absorption band otherwise called a sort band at a wavelength of 450 to 750 nm here the sort band the both bands sort and q arises from the transition of a pi, pi of a homo to pi star of lumo the electronic transition state to a higher energy mixed state s2 state the s2 state is strongly allowed whereas to lower energy mixed state s1 is weakly allowed so absorption band due to the transition of S2 state which is S0 to S2 state is a sorted band. S0 to S2 state is a sort, sorted band. Then uh, the absorption band due to the transition of S1 state which is S0 to S1 state is a Q band. Then we will see about metallo for firings. Four firings combined with the metal ion is known as metallo four firing. In these, these complexes, the inner hydrogen atoms of a four firing ring is substituted by metal ions. If a two hydrogen ion is removed, then the four nitrogen atoms can be coordinated to M2 plus metallic ion to form metallo four firing. See, this hydrogen is replaced by this metal ion so this is called as metallo four firings generally the metallo four firing complex is a neutral complex four firing acts as a tetradentate dinegative ligand so the size of the central hole in the center of a four firing is ideal for the accommodation of m2 plus ion of first transition series and the higher alkaline elements or higher al alkaline metals so the m2 plus ions of appropriate size are surrounded by the four nitrogen atoms of four firing ring in a square planar geometry the other axial positions are available for the incoming ligands see here this is in a square planar structure this is the appropriate size for the m2 plus ion so these axial positions are available for incoming ligand if the size of the m2 plus ion smaller than the size of the hole the four firing ring is destroyed if the size of the m2 plus ion larger than the ring it cannot fit into the hole and stays out of the square planar ring contains four hydrogen here the size of the m2 plus ion is larger than the hole so it stays out of the square planar so we'll get the pyramidal geometry
in such cases the metal ion sits above the four firing ring so the square planar becomes domed which means the shaped like cone or pyramid and acquires the pyramidal geometry see here the m2 plus ion larger size then we will see some examples of metallophore firings here the hemoglobin myoglobins are example of ion four firing complex in this the ion is the central metal ion then the chlorophyll is example for magnesium four firing complex and finally we will see some spectral properties of metallophore firings first the nmr spectrum in the complex we will have only two sets of a proton hence we will get two signals which are a pyrrole ring hydrogen which is known as the beta hydrogen then the bridged carbon hydrogen which is known as the beta meso hydrogen here we didn't have the nh bond because the hydrogen is replaced by the central metal ion then we will see the ir spectrum for metallophore firing complex in ir we didn't have the peaks because of the absence of nh bond in the hooking process of metal in the cavity of the four firing leads to the disappearance of nh signal so there is no nh stretching because only nitrogen atom is present then finally we will see the uv spectrum for metallo four firing complex the color of the metallo four firings is due to the absorption within the four firing ligand involving the transition from pi of homo to pi star of lumo when the metal is inserted in the four firing ring the which is a sorted band becomes broad and the q band disappears here the sorted band is broad and the q band is disappears finally the color of the hemoglobin myoglobin and cytochromes are due to the intra ligand pi to pi star transition Thank you.